I just want to preface this by saying that this microphone picks up way too much and I'm being super vulnerable right now because this thing is like really um, exposing me. <laughs> um, I don't want you guys to hear how much saliva I have in my mouth. It's upsetting. <laughs> anyway, uh, hello. Welcome back to Bell Book and Candle. I'm Vicky and today I've got a short speed build because instead of a whole house, it's just a single room. This is my dream office. Give or take some additional square footage, hopefully. Uh, future cat toys here and there, maybe even an extra table where I could game next to my boyfriend. I actually prefer more of a minimalist style of decorating in real life, but I think my maximalist Sims 4 brain took over, hence the overabundance of plants and the gallery wall behind the desk. But honestly, who wouldn't want to see a forest in front of them when they're sitting at a desk all day, right? Is that just me? I really like seeing plants. <laughs> I took all of my build and buy CC out when EA came out with kits because at the time I already had, I think, well, slightly rounding up, I had 80 gigs of Sims game plus the 10 or so gigs of the custom content that I had of just like um, script mods and build and buy CC, hair CC, clothing. I got rid of most of that. I think the only thing I kept were script mods. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this CC even, the one that I'm using for uh, this build. Even though it's Maxis Match, it seems a little too high def to me after only using the Sims stuff for a little while because the Sims, they're items look more dull, I guess you could say, compared to the stuff that like Harry and Felix Andre make. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if I used everything, but just in case you're wondering, I had downloaded for this build uh, custom content from Harriet and Felix Andre, Peacemaker, Ravashin, and I think like Moo Sims, or maybe it's Koo Sims. They have a, a cute little name. If I'm misremembering anything or whatever, don't worry, I'll just add the link down. Anyway, I've got some good things in the works. Today, I got my second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, which is really important to me because I'm an at-risk population. But more relevant to this video, I'm going to get my computer parts upgraded. My boyfriend and our good friend who, um, like PS, shout out to Sharif for being supportive of my videos and watching them and paying attention to the ramblings that like I have despite not being a simmer, which I didn't expect from him to do. Uh, but yeah, you rock and you boost my self esteem when it comes to these videos, so thank you. Anyway, as I was saying, my boyfriend has conspired to upgrade my computer desktop, which for now I only use to make and edit these videos. But yeah, in an ideal world, my fancy new custom computer would sit in my fancy custom office. <laughs> I'd want an extra large table so that I could journal and do art stuff because I like watercolor painting. If I had the space, I think it would also be cool to just have like multiple desks and computers set up side by side so that me and Clint could be close together while we game because right now we game in different parts of the room. The plants are just, I mean, there's no reason to need plants. The plants are just there. They're pretty and green's my favorite color. The fish tank would probably be larger in real life to be humane to the fish, I guess. So despite liking more modern or minimal things, I love the idea of an old Turkish rug lookalike in an industrial space and the tufted couch looks classy in The Sims. But I think in real life those buttons would probably just hurt my ass, so this is just adjacent to some seating I would have wanted. There are two things I'm unsure of, and it's that I placed my creature on the couch and I put a statue in the corner of the room. I think the creature could be replaced for a cat since I don't care for stuffed animals. And the bar cart could be a tea station with some aesthetically pleasing sculpture instead of just a bust of a armless, skinny, feminine torso. The round architectural windows and the balcony situation might be a bit of a stretch as far as offices go, but the thought of having my own place is a stretch anyway, so I thought why not have some fun with it by putting down some wood flooring, having the black exposed brick, and a skylight which is over the, um, the desk area and the ceiling. It's hard for me to just commit to a dream anything, so I'll probably try this again in the future. That's all I've got to say for now, so thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure yet if I'll upload the tray files to my Patreon, but in either case, 
hope this is a decent source of inspo for decorating studies in your Sims build. Um, thanks again, and bye everybody!